Hey guys, good morning, or good afternoon, or just good day to you. Look where we are today. Yeah, this is the uh, the Gdansk train station, or Danzig, if we're speaking in German. We are uh, heading out. We're going to explore the uh, city today. Sun's out, so uh, should be a good time. All right, let's go. So the last time I was here, this was all on being renovated. So this is really a treat. It's beautiful. Got the old um, city on Sagna. Well, maybe that's actually of Gdansk, I don't know. If we were in Shemesh or Premissal, they have ones with bears, which is for that city. I always screw this up. Uh, I wasn't going to cross over the road, and usually I walk down. And I was like, wait a second, use some common sense. And you can go underneath the street here and go up on the other side, which might sound like a simple thing, but if you forget to do it, then you're like waiting for the lights to change and you have to walk farther down. It's just a little bit awkward. So this is uh, a shortcut for me anyway, for where I want to go to first. It's definitely a bit louder here than it was in Sopot. And this is interesting. I don't really know where I am. Good times. <laughs> hey, you know what? Who needs to do what I wanted to do? Which was explore. Look what we have instead. We have a protest going on right now. Now, I always told my mama that I would avoid these things, but not today. Not today. Look at this. We got the tractors. They're all out in force. It's actually kind of funny. To me, anyway, because this would never happen in the, in the United States. But I'm pretty sure it's a protest because I remember them mentioning it. So, here, look at this. Um, I don't know who. Uh, I think we're supporting them. Yay! Yay! Did I mention how much we got? Let's get out of here. Holy crap. Whew. That was fun. Got the heart pumping now, huh? My God, I wanted to go out on the road and start throwing candy at him or something. In all seriousness, I'm pretty sure that that's about the... Um, the situation, part of it's the situation in Ukraine, um, among other things, because of the price of grain and other um, agricultural products that have been flooding in here. Uh, so I get it. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So it's kind of ironic though, because my first time that I ever was in this city, there was a protest over something going on, but instead of tractors, which we can still hear in the background, the hum of them, um, I ended up uh, having to avoid them because they were like blocking the streets as I went down. But when I went down, and this is why we we actually went this side route today, I was trying to be all coy and be like, well, we're going this way because of my adventures, because it's the easier thing. Oh, look at that church right there. But the reason why we actually walked this way is because I had to go back to a part of this city that I fell in love with the first time I ever stepped in this area. Take a look at this. Now, there's a, there's a couple cool things here, like actually. One, um, a lot of people miss this if they don't go off on these side streets. But look at this right here. Here's our buddy. I think this is Copernicus. And look what he's looking at right here. Look at this mural. Isn't this awesome? It is awesome, actually. You can just agree. And equally awesome behind it is the love bridge, which I have yet to find someone that I'm in love with that I can do this, but... Um, they have this in Krakow, but it's just not as cool. And you probably can see it right here, but 
this is your love bridge and there's all these locks just tons and tons of locks and if we plan our plan our thing right there should be a troll too to to check on us i think there's a I think there's a toll actually but here look yeah see all the locks someone got overly ambitious here they wanted to show that they love their girlfriend more than others so they put all these locks on that's what i would do Well, actually, I take that back. As an American, I would just find the biggest lock there is, and it would dwarf all those other locks to show that my love is more. Where is this troll? I think he's down here. I can't believe I missed this last time I was here. This really is one of my favorite spots. It's all coming back to me now. I remember how I ended up here last time. And again, it was because I was uh, trying to avoid the protest. <laughs> See, it's all connected. Today, we're trying to avoid the tractors. That'd be kind of ironic, huh? Get run over by a tractor. Now, right here, there should be a troll. <gasps> I found him! I found him! Look! Here he is! Isn't he a cutie? We have found ourselves in the... There's this a Carmelite church. It was right across the street from the troll. It's definitely has a different vibe. Here's the altar. It's really different than the church that we'll go into later. So again, what we just went into, I believe, was the Carmelite Church. Uh, right up there, look at that vantage point. It's right across the street from, not the troll, but the Hewa lion. This uh, little lion that I was just corrected by, by my favorite travel blogger who <laughs> corrected me. Thank you, Dominica. Another advantage of the uh, of the church. I don't know how I could confuse a troll with a lion and vice versa. I don't know what kind of childhood I had. Now, in the background over here, and you can see it, is another church. Uh, well, past the... Uh, I really need to review my castle terms, but past that tower right there, behind it, there's this beautiful church. Um, we'll, I'll show you it as a contrast on this exciting tour of Gdansk. You know, I just realized something. Well, you don't know this, but I just realized something. I think this is like the giant market right here. Huh. Wait, other way. You want to go in? You want to see what it looks like? Obviously, this is going to have to be a two-parter because uh, there's just too much to see. I love the streets here. It's so amazing to me how the majority of the city was leveled during World War II. I'll show you the outside of it. If you're a shopper, you can go in. Actually, we might better go in through these side doors. So here's the market. And it's my favorite time to go to the market when no one else is here. Actually, it's right next to that church. And I lied. We'll go in a little bit. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> well, I, I have. Just It's an indoor shopping area. So there looks like there's three levels. Uh, clothing's on the second, and then like food is down below. You should check it out. I'm not cool enough to venture into all those places right now. Because the churches are calling. They really are. And how you can't just want to get lost in this uh, in this old part of town is beyond me. I mean, look at these streets. Now granted, it's still early. And we're being blocked. 
But I'll show you this uh, building right here. It's pretty neat as I get my bearings back. But look up here. Look at the uh, different designs that they have on this and the colors. It's like I feel like I know where I am, but I don't. Does that make sense? Uh-oh. I have a monument to a dead guy over here. <laughs> so this looks like one of their... I won't say it's a reconstructed square, but everything is reconstructed. But this right here... You got that square aspect of things. And again, there's a monument to someone that was built in... Two, uh, I don't know. 2010. And my ADD, or non-ADD, whatever you want to call it, my overwhelming senses right now are like, I just want to head straight. That's all. Head straight. And you know what? I should do a better job because, look, they have these right here, these signs. So we were just in the Hala Targova, I believe. So uh, back to your history lesson, folks, for people that know nothing about this city. Um, this was a free city-state, if you will, after World War I. The League of Nations didn't want to give it to Poland because it was predominantly a German population. And what they did is, this kind of led... <laughs> well, this isn't lead. This, well, yeah, it did. This led to what would eventually cause more issues and the startup of World War II. With... Poland having rights to the to the water, if you will, here. And they could use the ports. And they even had, like, a trade agreement and, and all this stuff. But it just was ill-advised and because the League of Nations had no pull. It uh, screwed things up quite royally. That's my short version. Um, the continued version is, is that... Hitler used the German population as an excuse to demand this uh, this city. And then he wanted to have a land route to this city. And he used that as his reasoning for invading. Or one of the reasons, I believe. I'm sure I messed up with something there. But uh, here's my other church. I shouldn't say my church because clearly it's not mine, but it's it's wondrous. What's that? You want to go inside? All right, let's do that. And I do want to go inside, but I'm sorry, guys. There's these two two lions, definitely not trolls, that are calling me first. Right next to the amber shop, either. Look at this. We'll be going to the to the the Amber Row very, very shortly. Yeah. The Amber Trade, that's another issue. Back in, what was it, the 13 or 1400s, maybe 1500s, caused the Teutonic Knights to want to control this whole area. Wow, you know what? I've never seen the front of this building before. It's gorgeous. And more importantly, look at the cats. Look at the cats. There's four of them. For the four kings and queens of Narnia. That's right. That's right. Look how high it is in here. The ceilings. This is St. Mary's Basilica. The old altar right here of St. Hedwig. of this place reminds me of something that you'd see in like the return of the king when 
after Aragon was being crowned or when he went into Gondor. It's amazing. So yeah, that was St. Mary's the Basilica. And now we're going to take this little side street right here as I stand in a puddle because that's what I do for you guys. Yeah, see, we're going to go this way. This whole area really it never gets old for me. I think what we're going to do is we're going to walk down here. We'll go down towards the water after we go through my favorite part of this alley. And then uh, I'm going to warm up for a bit. I remember the first time I ever saw this, I was like taken aback. Because look at it. It's just, it's so, the energy from the street. Now this street looks a little bit like, um, if you've seen like Harry Potter and the, and when they go, they leave the muggle world, if you will. I could see this being a street where they go to get their wands and stuff like that. But this is where all the traders, I think, sell their, their wares, if you will. And see, it's cool. Like, shops down there. And coming up, this is where the Harry Potter reference comes. You're going to see these, like, drains that uh, have... Um, well, they, they look like snakes to me. But what do I know? What do I know? See right here? You see this guy? What do you think? That looks like your aunt. Your Aunt Agnes. That's not very nice. See this whole street? The last time I was here, I there's actually a restaurant here on the right. I can't tell you what I ate. I just know I was... There was a World Cup game on. <laughs> and it took him longer to get my food than I had expected. Which, I guess, makes sense because of where we are. See, there's a fish right there. Yeah. See, I think coming to this area, if you're into, like, the history and seeing all these, like, what it would have looked like back in the, we'll say, the pre-Prussian period, because if I remember right, when they reconstructed all this in the 1950s and 60s, they wanted to erase all of the German parts of it that had come in so they rebuilt the buildings and uh, the designs to make it look like what it was uh, I think pre 1700s could be wrong on that but well here we go we're gonna go out the gate and I'm sure this is gonna be the best view ever with this piece of equipment right here well this sucks well if you want to see the water view here he goes folks only the best for everyone. What the heck is this? Well, I didn't know about this eyesore. Here, we'll go down this way. I'll get you a view from the bridge. Yeah, so if you're looking for that quintessential postcard photo that people take. Those beautiful bells, where are they coming from? You know, it's funny, I can't tell. I think it's, I really can't tell. What the heck? It's that way, folks. All right, so we're going through the city gates entrance right here with the lions or trolls. I'm not sure again, I can't tell. Through the, through the pretty section right behind me. But before we do that, let me show you this is what everyone typically takes a picture of. Of this long stretch where it looks like they're actually expanding it out. But there's all these restaurants on the other side. People go down there and eat and are merry. And then they take their quintessential photographs. And now I don't usually go this way. It's too cool for me. Last time I went in this direction I was running. But uh, 
I'll give you a different vantage point. So just imagine the free city of Gdansk. And then here was the entrance and all this money that was pouring in from their trade. I forget what it's called. So now we'll go underneath, we'll go to the main square, we'll get something to eat, drink anyway. And then uh, that'll be the end of part one. <laughs> and if you stay along for the second one, I'll show you, uh, show you where I stayed. Well, this should be big enough for me to walk through. So here's one of my, well, this is everyone's favorite spot. You leave the amber row from down here, and then you come up here to this, like, real historical spots where the buildings are just, oh, they're gorgeous. You're also likely to run into people with flyers wanting you to go to their establishments or other things. The colors are amazing. I hear if you go down to Vortsuav, I think I said that right, it's equally cool with the decorum, if you will. Oh my god. For a second I thought this guy right here was the was Thomas the Fawn. And I was like, where are your horse legs? All right. We got to get something in us. Oh, you know, I just clicked why this just people here. There's a nightclub there. There's a casino there, Mom. That's right. And for you Americans who just can't get away from Americana, go to Hard Rock Cafe. It's right next to the cock. Yeah, see this uh, bird right here? That is a... That's the right bird, right? Or type of bird? No? Now look at this right here. See how they, they painted these? See, that's what I mean. These little touches. Um, it's very... It's very nice. Oh my god, it's the white rabbit. Wasn't that what Neo had to follow? Now directly in front of us is Neptune. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm not sure how Neptune showed up here, but I guess they're big fans. And more importantly though, again, look at the beauty of these buildings. And I think, you know what? I think we're going to... I think this is a good spot to stop right here, right in the center part of the square. So, uh, thanks. Thanks for tagging along for this walk into the into the old city of Gdansk. And uh, I need to go warm up, and after I do, uh, we'll pick up. We'll explore a little bit more. All right, guys. Peace.